Okay, so right now we're going to add uh, the simple sound option to this Coco 2 motherboard um, to be used with the Coco VGA since it doesn't have a sound option of itself on board. And what it consists of is just a little jack, a panel mount jack that will go through the back of the case and two wires. And what we have to do is tap a point on the motherboard. Uh, it'll be the point at which the single bit sound from the PIA is mixed into the output from the MUX in the DAC chip. And that point can be found, if I can zoom in here, on the, uh, I don't know if you can read the silk screen, but it's the top of R8 right here. I put a little bit of solder on there to kind of pre-tin it for attaching this mod. And this is a 10K resistor, which is where the single bit sound is mixed into the DAC output. And then that travels through the motherboard over to where the RF modulator is. But what we're going to do here is go ahead and attach this. that and a ground wire to tap the sound and I'll probably be in the way here but there we go we have the white wire there is attached and then we're going to go over to a point on the motherboard and If you can see it, but I guess it's not that important. This is a good place over here to attach a, a ground wire on this grounding along the edge. So we'll just get that in there. And I will include uh, longer wires on the supplied versions. This is just to show where the connections can be made. So, something like that. And then all we're going to need is a hole through our case and we will be all set to go with sound after we plug everything back together. And just a very simple single hole here for that sound jack is all that we'll need. And that can go anywhere on the case. There we go. That's easy enough, no template required for that. So now we'll go ahead and put it all back together and uh, what we need to do is sort of route our wires here a little bit and we're going to plug in our Coco VGA board that in and a keyboard and now our top cover go ahead and plug in our Coco VGA cable and as we're putting it all back together, I'll definitely give you guys some longer wire so you can decide where you want to put it through the case. But we got our hole. And these 
This has plenty of length, I'm glad. I was a little concerned because a lot of these jacks don't have much length to go through a, a panel. Just a couple of millimeters, really. But this is sufficient for what we need. So, there we have it. And I can put this thing back together. And here we go. You'll have a just a neat little sound jack there in addition to your button board and this is actually a composite mod with a black and white switch too on, on this machine but this one's had a few things done to it and that's about it we'll go hook her back up and see how the sound mod works okay so here we are ready to test it after putting in our little simple sound mod there to go along with the Coco VGA just a sound tap with a uh, capacitor in line and we'll see how it sounds here that's the only sound hooked up this is the PSG playing through the mux internally And I think it's safe to say that works, so there is a, another problem solved. Yep, that will uh, work out, I guess. Later, everybody.